Latest numbers on the pandemic as the coronavirus continues to spread across Arizona. An unfortunate milestone today as the state surpasses a million cases of the virus, roughly 7%, excuse me, half a million cases of the virus, roughly 7% of the state's total population and more than 8,400 Arizonans have lost their lives due to the virus. Meanwhile, hospitals are pushed to the brink with less than 10% of beds available statewide. More than half the beds filled by patients diagnosed with the virus. But some hope on the horizon as the vaccine rollout across Arizona continues. Today, people living in nursing homes and assisted living facilities across the state are set to begin receiving vaccinations. Team 12's Matt Uris joins us from Scottsdale with how this impacts everyone in our state. That's right, this really is important stuff. CVS employees will be making multiple visits to every long-term health care facility in our state. This is all part of that phase one approach. Their task to administer the Moderna vaccine, which requires two separate doses. As of right now in Arizona, we're at around 900 facilities that we'll be giving vaccinations to. Workers will visit each facility three times. The second and third trips will be to administer second doses to patients and to make sure no one is overlooked. Tobin Zadarko is the regional director for CVS Health. He talked about why this is so important. I think the biggest thing for me, and I think why this initiative itself is so important, I have a 93-year-old grandmother who no one in my family has been able to see since March. This is all part of phase one of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout, which focuses on protecting frontline healthcare workers and the most vulnerable. And it's one of those things that hopefully by getting this vaccine into these long-term care facilities, people like my grandma are going to be able to see their family again. And I think that's just really, really important. There will be 28 days between doses, making this a roughly two-month operation in which 163,000 patients are vaccinated free of charge. 99% of care facilities in Arizona opted in. And once they get there, obviously we're following very strict PPE standards. This indirectly benefits everyone in their fight against COVID-19. Experts say that 85% of the population must receive the vaccine in order for herd immunity to be achieved. One final note here, the general public isn't expected to have access to the vaccine for another couple of months. In Scottsdale, Matt Yuris, 12 News.